on right now if you are someone who is using a samsung galaxy flagship phone then you will be aware of this fantastic feature called samsung dex this offers a desktop experience when the phone is connected to a monitor or tv now samsung has been improving this feature on every iteration of one ui likewise this time with one ui 5.0 we do get to see some improvements and changes and that's what i'm going to show you in this video before we go ahead if you are someone who would love to know your phone better then be sure you subscribe to the channel and if you find any value in these contents do smash that like button as well now let's take a look at all those new features or changes on samsung dex on this one ui 5.0 now we have got an enhanced taskbar on Samsung Dex. Samsung has added a search button to make it easier to find applications you want right from the taskbar. As you can see, we have got this search icon here. This is basically a finder icon, which we already have on the phone. The same function has been integrated into Samsung Dex as well. The moment you tap on this, you can search all the applications you want, and you will also find some additional search results here from the settings, from my files, downloads, etc. And we can also see recent searches here. This is certainly a very handy feature which Samsung has added. Any app you want to search, you don't have to go to the app drawer and search for that app. You can just tap on this finder icon and search the application you want. That is the first feature which Samsung has added on One UI 5.0. Now the second one is a new notification indicator. As you can see here, we've got this message icon here and it is showing a notification indicator in orange dot. That's something new we have here. Now the third feature is a mini calendar. Now if you remember on One UI 4 or the earlier iterations of One UI, whenever you tap on this date, it used to open the calendar application and fill the entire screen. But now, Samsung has added a mini calendar widget here. The moment you tap on this, you can see this mini calendar here. And when you tap on the calendar again, you will see the application pops out on the entire screen here. That's a cool feature addition we have here. I think Samsung should also make the widgets visible right here on the Dex mode. All those stacked widgets or the KWGT widgets that we set on the home screen on the phone should also be visible on the Dex mode. That will be really useful. And we should also get some dedicated customization options for Samsung Dex. You guys let me know what do you think. What feature do you expect on the Dex mode? Do share your thoughts in the comment section. Okay, now another feature is is taskbar customization. Let me just right click on the taskbar here. As you can see, taskbar settings option pops up here. When you tap on that, you will be able to customize the taskbar here. As you can see, we can enable or disable some of the options on taskbar. If you don't want the navigation buttons, you can just turn it off. Likewise, we have got finder, language, keyboard, sounds, and screen capture options. We can turn off these toggles to not to see these options on the taskbar. Now, apart from these changes, I did notice that even the volume panel has changed now. The moment we tap on this volume icon, as you can see, we have got a horizontal volume bar. And the moment I tap on this three dot icon, again, we have got this horizontally stacked up volume bars right here. In the previous iteration of One UI, we were seeing this kind of a volume bar, the vertical bars. And Samsung did add the color options for the volume bars on Samsung Dex in the previous iteration. But now I don't see that happening. Once we have the stable release, I think we should be able to see these color themings also applied on the volume bars. These are some of the new improvements or changes that we have on One UI 5.0 for Samsung Dex. You let me know what do you think about these and also let me know what do you wish to see on Samsung Dex. That's all I have here. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done that already, go ahead, smash the subscribe button and smash that like button as well if you find this video useful. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.